Next, we'll discuss the Port Adelaide Footy Club, who finished second somehow by winning 17 games and five lo- and five <laughs> losses. That's an outstanding record. That's a premiership quality record. Percentage of 126.3%, and they went out in a home prelim. What would you make of Port Adelaide? I think they had a pretty good sort of year. Like they did what you wanted them to. Like mm-hmm. yeah, they always screamed like a bridesmaid type team. I never saw them as like a winning the flag, but I saw them being right amongst that sort of tier. Yep. But I didn't see them getting it done, so they're probably pretty par, really. Yeah. Positives, Aaliyah Aaliyah. Yeah, definitely. Recruit of the year, I would suggest. I understand yeah. what you were saying before around like what they gave up for Hind, but uh, yeah. in terms of total output... The they fact you won an All-Australian. It was still cheap. Yeah. <laughs> it's like sec- future second or whatever it was. Uh, uh, yeah, second round, I can't remember, but um, very cheap. The off-field recruiting generally, I think, has been excellent. Mm. Like Orazio Fantasia yeah, nice played a, a good role. Was he a little bit overrated at Essendon, probably? But yeah. he's come in and played a role, kicked four goals in a, in a winning qualifying final. That's uh, just an astute pickup, frankly. Yeah. Ollie Wines, yeah. Brownlow medalist. <laughs> I who had seen that come coming. back here. I didn't see it coming. No, no. A few people had. Um, yeah, some people were just kind of happy to write him off, and I yeah. think there was some off-field stuff, right? Like he was. The, did he get injured? He went skiing or something. I yeah, think got injured. Yeah. Did something dumb. I, I can't remember exactly yeah. the specifics, but either way, yeah, came back in incredible yeah. fashion, equaled the record for Brownlow medal votes in a given year. Um, yeah, massive year from him. Yeah. Carl Amon, another player yeah. that I would uh, give a lot of credit to as a pure wingman, probably Big one year, of the yeah. best best in the game in terms of what he does specifically. Willem Drew as well. Hey, steady. Found out he was second in the league for tackles. Shit. I had no idea. <laughs> that's outstanding. Yeah. So that again, that's another young player. Like he was drafted in what twenty seventeen, maybe twenty eighteen. One yeah. of those two. He years. was a mature age, wasn't he? I don't think so. I think he was an eighteen year old. Um, but either way, he's a young yeah. guy. He's certainly like twenty two yeah. max, I reckon. Bergman and Jones, a couple of the other youngsters. So I guess generally yeah. we're speaking, uh, and we're not even mentioning Butter, Rosie, Dersma. I think uh, that was my. Uh, you know, I put them in negatives because they had Dan years. such. Bad injury luck yeah. But we'll get to that uh, But generally Their ability to, to just roll Young kids Through this team And have them Perform well Is outstanding It's a, it's a hallmark Of that team In fact Where so many Of their young Of their best players Are either <laughs> Over 30 Or they're like 22 and under um, But it's a huge um, Tick It's a Feather in the cap I should say Of their Of their recruiting I think they just kind of nailed all these. I think they had like yeah. seven top 25 picks over two years, and most of them have come in and been good players. Yeah, they've done a good job. Even Jordi Artis, another one. Yeah, 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 outstanding player. Yeah, it was a yeah. outsider for the um, Rising Star and uh, going to be a long-term gun, I think. Um, and there's a guy like Dylan Williams who hasn't even played much, but he was another top 25 pick in there. Yeah, I think I remember the name vaguely. He was South Australian, wasn't he? Uh, no, I think he was a big country. Yeah. Certainly Victorian, anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, the positives for Port Adelaide would just be their ability to get the job done against the teams that are expected to get the job done, mm-hmm. which is um, important because you bank the wins, you can put yourself in the opportunity, you give yourself the opportunity rather to to finish high on the ladder and play deep into finals, and that's exactly what they did. The other flip side of that is, as a negative, their form against the best teams this year was um, underwhelming, I guess, mm-hmm. like for a team as ranked where they are on the ladder to. You know, get brushed aside fairly easily at home by Melbourne. Um, I think they lost earlier in the year to Geelong. Admittedly, overcame that and smashed them in the finals. They beat the Dogs away, yes, but the Dogs were at a very low ebb at that point, and then we saw what happened in the prelim um, at their own home deck. And just generally, their form didn't really lend itself to be... To, like, they lost the Dogs at home as well. So they had these opportunities to, to beat the best teams, couldn't quite take them. And ultimately, we saw that reflected in the finals when they were nowhere near the level of the Bulldogs. I talked about the luck, luck, uh, lack of luck for Butters and Dersma, two exciting mm. players, absolute guns. Uh, had they played more, well, Port Adelaide finished top two anyway, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it would have... Ladder position-wise, I don't think it matters, but yeah. those guys having some momentum and confidence in finals could have helped them there. But yeah, a little bit, yeah. They'd lost by 71 yeah, points, though. But, anyway. but it's still, you always want to see those guys play yeah. more. So like I said, they scrammed bridesmaid all year. Mm-hmm. Their terrible prelim performance is a massive negative. That's two home prelims lost in a row. Admittedly, last year's was a bit more respectable with losing to Richmond, but uh-huh. uh, this year they got brushed aside by a team that didn't even win the premiership. Form against the top sides generally we touched on. Um, I think injuries they did cop this year. Yeah. So Robbie Gray, Fantasia, Motlop, Dersma, Butters, Farrell and Rosie all felt a bit of an injury curse yeah. this year. Even Dixon, I think, 
didn't he at one stage or was that late in the year or I something? can't recall yeah. off the top of my head I have to ask someone who watches yeah. football <laughs> uh, and their first terms in general um, was uh, <laughs> their first terms in general cost them and we saw that in yeah. the prelim I think they conceded the first five and it was a game over after that yeah. uh, with that all being said how would you grade Port Adelaide season? Again, sort of in that C sort of thing. They did what's expected of them, but they didn't win the flag. Yeah. They're in that held I, to a higher standard group. Yeah, they are held to a higher standard now. I'll give them a B, though. I think to finish mm. top two with a 17-5 and five record is... Uh, it's a great backup year to last year winning the minor premiership. Uh, yes, they, they had one really bad final. Mm. Uh, admittedly, it's a really, really bad final, <laughs> but it was only one. So we're not yeah. seeing a pattern here with Port Adelaide. It's just a bitter end of the season. I think you give them a B. I think if you offered team uh, Port Adelaide top two at the start of the year, they would have jumped at it. Um, huh. To not make a grand final is disappointing, but it's not a failure. I think I think I'll give them a B. They've recruited Finn Layson, yeah. maybe not so much out of a targeted tactical approach, but fell into their laps. Kind of fell into their laps a little bit. So it'd be interesting to see where on the field he plays because I think forward line probably a third tallish type of thing, I'd guess. I feel like they're all right with that. Yeah, they've got, Georgiades, Marshall. Yeah, exactly. Those two are probably competing for the same spot from what I can gather. Yeah. Maybe maybe he takes Laddam's spot if he can Laddam's is gone now. That's what I mean. They can he yeah, can take uh, Laddam's yeah. spot so that he's gone. But um if he can ruck or if he can play defence, yeah. I think he's played some defence so yeah, yeah, I think they were sure. talking defence for him, actually. Yeah. I think was the chatter around Finlayson. Yeah. I think they're going to turn him into a defender, to be honest. Yeah, so that, that could be an option. Um, and obviously, Laddam's out. Mm-hmm. Uh, picks 12, then 63. They upgraded from 16 to 12 uh, in a bit of shrewd business. So I do wonder if they've got their eye on somebody in particular, maybe mm-hmm. a Wanganeen Millerer in yeah. this year's draft. Um, they really want the local boy, maybe. I'm just plucking that. Right. He's around that range. He's around that range, and we have a tendency to link the team from the state yeah. to the player from that state. Yeah. Um, and Pretty much every mocky has us taking Erasmus. Yeah, and yeah, or whatever. and us taking Matthew Johnson, but I yeah. bet you we don't. Um, anyway, how do you forecast Port Adelaide with their aging stars, you know, your Boke, Bokes <laughs> and um, your Greys and your Dixons um, and their youth? How do you think the future's going to go for them? I could say the slip down. Mm. And then they replace those greys, those sort of dudes, and then come we, back up. We have said that for a lot of teams, haven't we? But I agree but with you. But we, ha- we haven't definitively flagged teams that are in the eight has gone down. Port Adelaide would probably be close to my favourite other than the two obvious, Essendon, Sydney. Port would yeah. probably be certainly my pick of the top four to mm. miss finals. But the thing is, uh, uh, next year I don't think those players drop off. Like uh, Dixon mm. and Boke. Like Boke's still an outstanding player. Yeah. Um, It'll just be a case of can they hang on long enough for those young guys yeah. to to make it a smooth transition? Probably, mm. to be honest. Probably, probably. <laughs> but I'm so. I think they're in a really good spot. To be honest, they are. But at the same time, if any of those teams were going to fall, I'd say and them. I, I get what you mean. Yeah. Probably. But it doesn't necessarily mean I see them falling. But no, no. I think the potential's most likely for them out of. Yeah, I think what works for them is that their youth is so good, and they've already copped injuries to some extent, and they've coped with it. Mm. So. For them, it's just about taking the next step and beating those best teams, um, which comes with experience, especially with those younger players. 